The British government now wants us to deny, deny us the chance for justice by introducing an amnesty for these murders. I want to speak directly to the people of Britain at this moment. Can you imagine what would happen if the soldiers murdered 10 unarmed civilians on the streets of London, Liverpool or Birmingham? What would you expect? An investigation? Would you expect justice? Or would you be happy for them to get an amnesty? I don't think so. The MOD spin doctors, just like they said 50 years ago, are circulating the lies. They're describing these, these investigations are facetious or unfair prosecutions. The police have never, to this day, investigated the death, deaths of our loved ones. No one should be above the law. We will not accept an amnesty for, the, for these murders. Amnesties are for, peop amnesty. Amnesties are for people who are afraid of the truth. If the Brit British government are so proud of their legal system, why did they not trust it? Instead, they chose to ignore the internationally recognised agreements made, made up by their own laws, and they make their own laws when it suits them. Every victim should have the right to pursue justice. One name I didn't read out earlier was Paddy McCarthy. The 11th victim, the Bella Murphy massacre, Paddy was beaten, he was brutalised. Soldiers of one power then pretended that they were going to kill him and a shot over his head. This was too much for a poor Paddy and he suffered a heart attack and died. Our thoughts about Paddy's family, I know they are with us today. And I want to say to them, we will never give up in the pursuit for truth for Paddy. Our thoughts are all also with those who died on the long, extreme, difficult journey. The many members who died prematurely as a direct of the, of the result, losing a loved one. The witness who spoke truth to power and had the courage to make the statements. And the campaigners who stood, the campaigners who stood about a shoulder to shoulder and sat on our journey. We remember them today and love and fondness and may they rest in peace. So what's next for our campaign? Today the verdicts will take us for, for our new process. The Mullen Murphy massacre families against all odds over the past 50 years. We are determined that we now focus should firm, we are determined that now the focus should firmly be on, on those who cause the deaths of our loved ones and also the innocence of our loved ones. The inquest were hiring, the inquest were hiring our deal. We heard horrific evidence about our loved ones. No one should ever hear. We need to come, we need time to process, recover, recoup in the weeks ahead. And only then will we consider what our next steps are. I want to thank the coroner and our staff for all the hard work and professionalism throughout the inquest. I also want to thank our legal teams for their dedication. We will never forget how you continually went above and beyond to help our pursuit for truth. The most important thing for us today, our loved ones are declared innocent. They were unjustifiably murdered 50 years ago. Thanks very much.